for the interior side of the projects, well, uh, we're gonna start with the Phoenix Sky Harbor and Sky Train Transit Stations uh, project. And while Rigidized Metals has several materials and patterns at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, our presentation today is going to focus on our texture wall panel product line in Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport and the Phoenix Sky Train Stations. One of the primary benefits for interior applications of our product is the durability that our wall panel systems provide as opposed to the flat surface panels. By utilizing deep textured materials, our panels provide significantly higher impact resistance um, along with hiding scratches and dings and other wear and tear brought in in high traffic areas. Our panels at Sky Harbor and Sky Train stations consist of the face pans being 304 stainless steel 20 gauge with a Santex finish and our 5HR deep textured pattern. An aluminum honeycomb core and a flat aluminum backer. Some of the scopes at the airport used our standard attachment system of Z-clips and Z-rails, while other scopes utilize existing clips in place. Our first scope with these panels was at the 44th Street station of the Phoenix SkyTrain light rail system about 12 years ago. And then another scope was at the T3 connector bridge area. You can see the panels in the 5HR pattern in the Santex finish in these photographs. And this picture here shows the wall panels. They were along walls, but they also encompassed the, the rectangular column covers at the T3 connector bridge area. It was because of these scopes that led Rigidize to be selected as the panel manufacturer for the terminal scope of over 900 panels. How this occurred is the airport was experiencing numerous existing panels, not rigidized metals panels, that were delaminating and creating large bubbles on the panel faces. This panel system was in the terminal not even two years old. During a walkthrough of the terminal airport personnel and the contractor evaluating the situation, the group noticed a high frequency of delamination issue on the terminal panels, yet when they reached the T3 connector bridge area, and the 44th Street station areas, they observed and noted how these panels were not having any issues and remained looking very good. The contractor advised the group that these panels in these two scopes were made by a different manufacturer, that being rigidized metals. The delamination issue on the walls continued as, and they decided to replace all 900 panels in the terminal and selected rigidized metals as the panel manufacturer based on the level of quality and the performance of our panels in those other two scopes. The panels in the terminal scope range from larger rectangular and trapezoid shaped panels, approximately 42 inches high by 120 inches long, down to smaller trapezoid and triangular shaped panels along the escalators. This was a turnkey panel system and the panels were cratered and shipped directly to the job site and the contractors simply decrated the panels for installation. All of the deep texturing of the materials and the fabrication and lamination of the panels was done at our plant in Buffalo, New York. Rigidize does all of its manufacturing of our panel systems in-house to maintain complete control of our high quality standards and to maintain our competitive price for a high quality product. And here's some of, the, some of the panels throughout the airport. You can see the triangular shaped panels in the photograph to the right that run up along the escalator. So trapezoids, triangles, rectangles, all those pattern uh, panel shapes were not an issue. The next project we're gonna move to are uh, the column covers at Los Angeles International Airport. While Rigidized Metals has a selection of over 25 patterns that we roll, we've discovered, especially over the last few years, is by adding color to our patterns is a very effective way for a designer and architect to be able to bring color into an environment and the surfaces where durability is a must. One of these patterns with color we offer is called Middle Sex, which is our 6WL pattern, powder coated and highlighted on the non-prime side, which is simply the back side of the pattern where the, where the pattern dimples in rather than dip rather than out. For LAX T7, the design intent was to create 
a different aesthetic color wise, other than the silver color of stainless steel in some areas, for column covers and certain scopes in the terminal and creating some level of visual and surface continuity uh, with the scopes where stainless steel was going to be the, the finish of choice. In this picture, you can see an up close um, view of the middle sex pattern. It's a diamond teardrop shape the powder coating stays down inside the lug and the higher points of the pattern are polished back to stainless steel. As you look down that row of column covers from a distance, it gives off more of a glow of the color that was used in the powder coat, in this case, white. Here's the exact same pattern, the 6WL on the non-prime side with no powder coating and it's just the number four stainless steel. These are down in the baggage terminal. But again, it's the continuity of the pattern uh, throughout the airport. Column covers, as you know, can come in cylindrical round shape as well as rectangular columns such as these. Our powder coat and highlighter product line provided just a solution for the color-based aesthetic and with the pattern size and depth of our 6WL, it provided plenty of clean color visualization and by utilizing our 6WL patterns non-prime side and number four finish of stainless steel for the scopes or stainless steel with a stainless steel look was desired. And this provided the desired level of continuity throughout. To provide assurance of the durability of our middle sex pattern, a mock-up was provided to the LAX design team during a meeting where they tested it by giving the scratch test and banging some large objects into it and the durability was such that they approved the material on spot for T7. The T7, which is the United Terminal, was the first scope. Our middle sex materials were used in column covers at LAX, and upcoming scopes uh, at LAX where middle sex will be utilized in the column covers are T1.5 and T3.0. Due to the performance of our middle sex material, additional terminals will follow, will follow those as LAX desire to maintain the material consistency with the pattern being used. For column covers, Rigidize does not produce the actual column cover systems and is a material supplier to the column cover manufacturers. We have very good relationships with Gordon, Fry Reglet, and Pitgon, the three predominant column cover producers, as well as several other mid-level producers. Other airports where our middle sex is present in the column covers are Houston at Bush International, Memphis, which the, the project is currently underway, and in the very near future, they'll be in Tampa Airport as well. The next project we're gonna cover is the Miami Beach Convention Center. In addition to our regular wall panel systems, which are laminated panels with aluminum honeycomb core or MDF core, Rigidized Metals also offers acoustical wall panels and ceiling panels, utilizing deep textured perforated material and acoustical material cores. This next project we'll be discussing is the Miami Beach Convention Center, where our metal acoustical wall panels were specified for an approximately 7,000 square foot area. These metal acoustical wall panels are comprised of 20 gauge stainless steel, perforated with a 33% open area and deep textured with our 1RL pattern. The textured perforated material was formed into pans, powder coated white, and utilized John's Manville one inch thick whisper tone acoustical board. The core is a rigid acoustical board with a white scrim on the face to maintain the whiteness appearance through the perf holes. In order to maintain sufficient acoustical performance by allowing sound waves to pass entirely through the, material, through the panel, we have to minimize the area covered by panel backing. And accordingly, we use only two two inch wide stainless steel C channels and attach the Z clips to these channels for panel mounting, as you can see in this photograph. For impact resistance at foot traffic level in the Miami Beach Convention Center, the cores on the bottom level of panels were not the acoustical material and a MDF 
core painted white was used instead to offer the higher impact resistance again at the foot traffic level. As with our solid laminated wall panel system, our acoustical panel systems are a turnkey system shipped directly to the job site where they're simply uncrated and installed with our simple Z-clip, Z-rail attachment system. In addition to a very sufficient NRC level of 0.76, another very attractive benefit is the durability of a metal acoustical panel, which far exceeds that of fabric or wood acoustical materials. In this case, for additional impact resistance, as we just mentioned, the lower level of panels were an MDF core painted white. And here's some various shots of the entire wall sections covered with, with these panels. Our maximum panel size without framing involved for our acoustical wall panel is 24 inches by 48 inches. And to minimize the number of panel sizes and, and keeping the pricing down for the project, the architect utilized only three typical panel sizes and stepped the panels in the wall panel layout, as you can see in this picture. Now there were some miscellaneous panel sizes as there will be in any project, but there were only a very few and with the three typical sizes, it allowed us to maintain a higher efficiency in our production, holding our production costs down and keeping the system very economical for the high performance. These panels, this system on this project was installed just about approximately one year ago. The last area we're going to cover today in the, in the presentation is public art. Rigid Eyes gets involved with several public art projects, and the project we're going to cover today is called the Jaxascope. Uh, it's located in Jacksonville, Florida. It's a, it's a visual, visually interactive art piece designed and created by Shasti O'Leary Sudan. And here it is on display in Jacksonville, Florida. These triangle tubes were produced with an outer tube and an inner tube. The outer tubes are 316 stainless steel. Both 12 gauge and 14 gauge were utilized with our 6HC pattern. Tiny holes for lighting um, were cut into each outer tube face and then powder coated. The powder coat was a Tiger dry lat system for exterior applications. And in addition to the powder coating, a UV resistant clear coat was applied over the powder coat. If, if you look closely on the picture on the right, you can see the tiny light holes that were laser cut in the face of all the outer, outer triangular tubes. The inner tube was produced with 316 stainless steel with a number eight mirror finish. The number eight mirror finish was needed for light reflectivity and for the kaleidoscope effect. Because of the intricacies involved with the tubes and the construction of the unit, rigidized handled not only the fabrication and assembly of the tubes, but also did the assembly of the complete unit. The unit was bolted to a heavy welded frame and then loaded and protected for the transport to Florida and it arrived intact and undamaged. Here's a photo that shows the density of the light holes along with a kaleidoscope effect as you peer through the triangular tubes. It's a fascinating piece. Here's how the installed unit looks in both daylight with the bright colors and at nighttime with the entire unit lit up. 